Hi Lou, I'm afraid it's just a matter of discussion with your neighbours and a bit of negotiation. If you're able to uh, agree terms, come to a price that enables you to offer potential purchasers access down the side of the property, then, then great. You would have to register the change with the land registry because it means a change in the deeds and the title boundaries. Um, but that's about it, it shouldn't be more complicated. Marshy, it really depends on your timescales and how keen you are to get this house sold. Um, I mean, you're absolutely right. The dead of winter is not the busiest time in the housing market, and it might be nice to come back to the market fresh in the spring and kind of relaunch it. Having said that, any buyer worth their salt to doing their research nowadays will be able to establish the marketing history of your property. And it's been off the market, on the market, off the market, on the market. That doesn't look too good. Uh, and people will discover it anyway. So with that in mind, it's probably better just to leave it on. But I would urge you, make sure you've got the right price and the right agent helping you. Good luck. Thanks for your question about the difference between exchange and completion. There are articles on the website um, to do with this, but exchange of contracts is the first time when both buyer and seller are legally obligated to the deal. It's the time that two people sign the contract and the purchaser puts down a deposit. It's usually 10%. Everyone at that point is tied into it. And it's only at that point that the date for completion is set. That date is the date that the seller moves out and the buyer takes the keys and takes possession and the mortgage starts. That completion date is the date that the house is yours. Whether it's better to stay and do the improvements or move, um, it's really related to whether those improvements are going to enable you to stay in the house for longer and not move. I think it's unlikely that putting in a new kitchen and doing a conversion up and getting an extra bedroom will make you significantly more money. You'll get your money back and you might make a bit of profit on the side, but it's not going to put your ability to purchase into a different price zone. Um, you would have spent cash on your refurbishment and it's cash that you'll need for your deposit in order to fund your mortgage and your forward move. So it is a complicated one. Uh, it's a difficult question for me to answer accurately without kind of all of the facts and figures at my fingertips. Um, there are pros and cons both sides, says Phil, completely sitting on the fence. Thank you.